what is the physics? What is physics? Before answering this question, let me ask you something else. If you look at around you, you can see so many things. You have books, you have so many different kinds of electronic gadgets. You have house, you have car, you have a beautiful planet Earth. We have living beings, river, all the planets in the sky, solar system, galaxies, and whatever you can see around you, whether it is living thing or non-living thing, what is that? That is matter, that we call matter, right? So everything around you, whatever you can see, you can touch it, you can feel it, that is the matter. So if you look at in nature, in environment, in the universe, there is a matter, right? What else is there? Is there only matter in the universe? Nothing else is there. There is something else that have effect, but it is something different than the matter. For example, we have electromagnetic radiations coming each day from the sky, from our sun, that we call sunlight. We have electric energy in your home that runs our computer, that runs our all kinds of electronic gadgets. You have, we have so many kinds of waves that even we cannot see, but there is the effect of it. That we call energy. So there is existence of something else other than matter that we call energy. So there is energy that affects the incident events around us. What else is there beyond the matter and the energy? Is there only matter and the energy? We might say there is anti-matter and the dark energy. According to the physicist, the matter that we can perceive and the energy is just 5% of the total universe, entire universe. So 95% is about Antimatter and dark energy. What is the antimatter? Antimatter is a kind of matter that just have the opposite nature, but it is a kind of matter. That's why we can include antimatter as a matter. That is also a matter, right? So if we say matter, we can include antimatter. The dark energy is also the same thing. We can include dark energy, it's a kind of energy that we don't know so far. Physicists don't know so far what it is actually. We don't have that much research that we can explain everything about anti-matter and dark energy. So in nutshell, what we can say is there is matter and energy that makes this entire universe. What else is there? Just two things. Let me ask you one question before going further discussion. Where can matter exist? Where can matter exist? Where can you build your house? Where can airplane fly? There is the existence of something else that matter can exist that energy can exist, we call space. Without space, there is no existence of matter, right? You cannot build anything without space. We need space. We need space. So there is existence of something else other than matter and energy that we call space, okay? 
also, there is another thing that we have to discuss. Everything in this universe, every incident, every events that happen at certain point and that ends at certain point and there is the process between these two points, whether it is the uh, events like Big Bang or birth of a baby or whatever, creation of something or death of something, all these things are events. So these kinds of events, the processing of the events, the process takes place in time. So there is the existence of time. There is the existence of something that we call time. So time is important. Without time, no events can occur, right? So there is the fourth thing that we call time. Can you tell me anything beyond the matter and the energy in space and the time? What is the existence of something else other than these four words? You can't tell me a single one. If you know, just let me know, right? So if you know matter and the energy and the space and the time, you know about the entire universe. Entire universe. So now, what we do in physics, we study about the matter, we study about the energy, we study about entire matter, we study about dark energy, we study about matter and energy in space and time. That is the, that's what we do in physics. So our definition of physics will be, physics is the study of matter and energy in space and time. The laws of physics are said to be fundamental laws of nature. The laws of physics are said to be fundamental laws of nature. Why fundamental? Because if you know the laws of physics, you can explain everything in this nature. There is nothing you can't explain if you know the fundamental laws of the nature, which are laws of physics. If you know the laws of physics, there is nothing you can't explain in chemistry. So the law, all the laws of chemistry can be defined by the laws of physics. If you know the laws of chemistry, you can explain everything in biology. So the physics is the fundamental science. If we can explain matter and energy in space and time, we know about the fundamental nature of fundamental particles and energy, then we can explain entire nature, entire universe. There is nothing that we don't know that we can't explain beyond the laws of physics. These are fundamental laws. So physics is the study of matter and energy in space and time.